sitting from Izmir, the most important capital of the region, where many civilizations rooted from. Once this region described as a land built right under the most beautiful sky by the history father of Herodotus. Why this region is so different than others? Why it's so special? The fundamental factor for that is the combination of a mild climate, a structure of the soil, and the migration and international trade routes passed from this city. It has been home for many communities like Seferic Jews, Nomadic Turks, Levantines, Greeks, Armenians and many other more. These communities help city itself to build upon a magnificent structures and also leave some heritage to the Izmir cuisine. Today we will discover this diversity in Izmir cuisine and we will try our best to show you the culinary delights of the Izmir. Let's start our journey with Söğüş. When it comes to Izmir street food, definitely Söğüş is the first stop of ours. Söğüş has three parts of a sheep's head, brain, cheeks, and tongue. It has been a heritage for nomadic Turks, and they've been doing this for 500 years at least. It's serving cold. These parts boiled hard. Later on, it is a mixture and a combination with parsley, some red onions, tomatoes, and some green peppers. It's the best combination and a best fit for a hot summer day in Izmir. It is serving cold. Our second stop is Börek shop, owned by this cool man. Börek is one of the most favorite Turkish dish that everybody can eat any time of the day. It's thin, flaky dough with some veggies and some meat inside and you cook it within. It's flaky and it's so tasty that you can see it's thin layers of dough mixed with inner veggies including cheese meat whatever your imagination is and this is the way you do it a unique pastry called boils let's try this together This pastry is exclusively produced here and in the early morning you have a huge queue to wait up this delicacy and you need to wait and make sure that it's really worth to wait in the line. Boyos was brought to the country over from Spain by the immigrants of Seferic Jewish community in late 15th century. Since then, boyos is an essential part of our breakfast in Izmir, and you can maybe only find this in Izmir. Ingredients is flour, sunflower oil, and some tahini. Tahini makes the dough rise in the layers, and you can eat your boyos with hard-boiled eggs with some black pepper over it. And of course, Turkish tea. This is mulberry juice. And in this shop, you can find lots of juices, including blueberry juice, cranberry juice, and mulberry juice. 
this is created for hot summer days and this is a refreshing taste. Izmir has a rich hinterland where they can get lots of berries and make the juice as we call sherbet, which is coming from Arabic language, sharba, which is a drink. And this drink refreshes you during the day. This is the moment we are finally meeting with all-time classic Döner Kebab. Till 19th century, skewers were horizontal. But after that moment, we started to make our Döner like this. Döner Kebab is so famous and even some time period known as Izmir Kebab. Now let's try this minced meat and meat cooked in wood fire serving with some yogurt, some pita, as we call it, thin bread underneath, and some tomato sauce over it. Of course, butter is essential. On the streets of Izmir, you can get the most interesting food, also drinks. In example, we are a bit proud of our pickles. You can find anything pickled here. As you can see, from corn to garlic, from cucumber to tomato, whatever you can imagine. And the good thing about it, you can drink the juice of the pickle, which can be a little bit sour, but make sure that it will be the most delicious thing that you can ever try. Pickles first created in ancient times, as it was so hard to contain any vegetables fresh and alive. As human mind, we have been discovered how to overcome this problem. The solution is pickle. And here in streets of Izmir, we drink juice of it and we bite every bit of it. <laughs> Mussels are one of the main dishes of the Aegean people. Here in Turkey, we cleanse and rinse the muscle first. Later on, we put some cooked rice inside. Then this is how we eat our muscle with a little bit of lemon. For Izmir local, the muscles are one of the best pair during the day, during the night, even during the noon. This spot is the most interesting one, I can assure you. Now it's turn for the cockroach. Cockroach has the longest process in street food in Izmir. The preparing is so hard labor and so carefully done. Ingredients are small and large instantly and uh, some sweet breads. First, you get these ingredients rinsed and cleaned up. It takes hours and hours to clean it properly. Then you need to wrap these ingredients over the skewers, iron skewers. When you cook them by charcoal, and when it's done, it needs to be sliced up and usually served inside the bread. Of course, the additional spices are the essential for cockroach, including red chili peppers, cinnamon, cinnamon, black pepper, oregano, and whatever you like. Let's dip in.
It's time to have the traditional celebration or ceremony food. It's called helva. In Izmir culture, Helva has its special seat. When you have a ceremony like wedding, funeral, or your kid's graduation, you always cook Helva in your house. The main ingredients are flour, water, and tahini. Also, you can make it with cacao or pistachio. But Helva is essential for every celebration, for every special occasion in Izmir. This is Turkish coffee. It's an unfiltered, thick coffee. It has been in our lives since 16th century. At the bottom, we have thick layer of coffee and at up front you can see the silky foam on it and this is what we drink whole day and whole night actually the turkish coffee is the root for european coffee in 16th century traders brought coffee to europe from ottoman empire turkish coffee is generally serving with some water you need to cleanse up your mouth before drinking it of course, a bar of chocolate or a Turkish delight will also do some good while you enjoy your Turkish cup. In fact, we can have your fortune telling by only drinking this coffee. Would you like to taste? Visit Izmir. Last but not least, we are at the Kazandibi shop. Kazandibi is a milk-based pudding-like dessert, but a specialty for this dessert is when you cook it, you just let the bottom of this pudding burn a little bit to make a caramelized effect. And when you put it upside down, and when you glaze it from the pot, you get this sugary, silky flavor over it. It's basically a milk pudding, but you can additionally put some almonds inside, some nuts inside. But this is last but not least what we're gonna try on Izmir street food. Izmir is the creator of this dessert.